Okay, here we are. This is Friday Harbor, San Juan Islands, and where are we riding to today? Roche Harbor. Roche Harbor. And Kiln. Lime Kiln. Lime Kiln, Lime Kiln Park. 30 miles or so, uh, and we're going to see whales. My sister Bonnie, her husband Andy, and I went up to the San Juan Islands in Puget Sound near Seattle to see what bicycle riding in the islands is like. A number of native tribes lived in what is now called Roche Harbor. Limestone was discovered here and used for making concrete. These are lime kilns. Andy has a knack for finding mushrooms everywhere he rides. might be the closest to a whale I get to see. Our search for whales is careful and thorough. Instead, we find buildings. And more mushrooms. We thought about eating these, but Andy decided it was safer not to. Just south of Lime Kiln Point State Park is an agricultural area that is flat, something we really grew to appreciate. Okay, we're back. It's a little bit darker than this morning, isn't it? Well, it was dark in the yeah, morning, too. The so where, where did we go? We went to uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Lime Kiln Park, uh -huh. Roach Harbor. Harbor. Right. And False Bay. You're right. False Bay was my favorite. Yeah. Yeah, mine oh, too. Yeah. yeah, was it? Yeah, yeah. it was yeah, very it was scenic. great. Yeah, it was beautiful. And we almost, almost didn't even go there. <laughs> we anyway. almost saw some whales. Almost. <laughs> uh, <laughs> The Washington State Ferries are almost as beautiful as the islands themselves. The boats are calm, soothing, and majestic. Okay, here we are. Where are we? Lopez Island. Island right. We're going to ride around Lopez Island. We just came from Friday Harbor, and the ferry was behind us. It's gone already, hasn't it? Or is it? Maybe not. And uh, the sun is out. It's hard not to say anything about Lopez Island that isn't either cliched or obvious. It's beautiful, pleasant, and quiet. And because of all the secluded homes, it's hard to know much about the people. But those with second homes here are clearly pretty affluent. Lopez Island now, and the big question of the day is, what's your favorite part of the trip? What was yours, Bonnie? That little spit of land, not but, Shark Reef Park, but near there was yeah, really beautiful. Right. And I liked any stretch that was flat. <laughs> <laughs> which, which is which pretty is much none. <laughs> and I liked that first spot, you know, where, where the sun was shining? Oh, yeah. In the morning? That was beautiful. beautiful. Whatever that yeah. name of that place was. beautiful. Was. Yep. The next day, we took two different ferries, the big one and the little one.
All right, now we're in Guimas Island. Is it called? How do they pronounce? He said Guimas. Guimas. He said Guimas Island, and we're gonna ride around. What are you looking forward to? The hill. <laughs> the hill, of course. Guimas Island is the historical territory of the Samish nation. The Samish raised a breed of dogs, which are now extinct, that were highly prized for their wool. The island used to be known as Dog Island. We are uh, at Schoolhouse Park in Guimas Island, the middle of the island, I'd say. We met up with Jerry, a friend's friend, who has a family house on the island. Evidently, there's no police station on the island, which he told us for a teenager was a dream. Okay, let's see. This is the end of our ride at Guamus Island, everyone's favorite park, please. The cookies and dahlia stand. <laughs> It was great. The whole island was really good. Yeah. It was a I, surprise. What you, in what way? Yes. Well, it wasn't what I expected. And there was no traffic at all. Yeah, no traffic is good. Yeah. I enjoyed seeing Jerry's place. Oh, yeah. yeah that was great. <laughs> yeah. Bye from rainy Guamus Island. Don't believe the websites and guidebooks about the San Juan Islands. The photos are usually sunny and summery. But the islands have a soothing, ominous beauty. They're somber and even majestic. It's a place where David Lynch or Ingmar Bergman would feel right at home in. <laughs>